here on the Patriot League Network for those of you watching online. Goff is ready, clock is set, and we are underway here at Jack Coffee Field. Jorge Solano catches it his own four on the far hash, carries out across the 15 to the 20, and he's brought down at the 22-yard line. So he'll come out with one receiver split wide to the right, short side, two receivers wide to the left, Coons on his left hip, he takes, he throws to the near side and running up to Bucky Jones across the 25 and out to the 30 where he's brought down on the play by Don Cherry. Gain of about nine yards, good for about second and one. Just underway here in the Bronx, 14.40 to go, first quarter, no score. Three receivers split wide to the right for Fordham. As the chains now move, they'll give them the first down. A gain of 10 on the play for Tabucky Jones. Sam Ajala split wide to the right, just off the numbers. Wetzel and Tabucky Jones in the slot right. Kuntz on the right, hip of Niebrick in the gun. Dan Light tight left. Play action, he holds. Running up the middle, Niebrick at the 30, spins down to the 32 and a half yard line. Good for a gain of about two yards. Joey Harmon made the tackle. And there we see the first option of the game. And uh, Fordham is going to be running that a lot today, I think. Call it second and nine at the Fordham 31-yard line. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Wing left is Dan Light. Niebrick barks signals out to his offensive line. Kuntz on his right hip, takes the snap, back to throw, looks left, throws left to Jala, caught at the 40, spins down, and out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Good for a Fordham first down on their side of the field. That time the defensive backs backed off just a hair, uh, just enough for Ajala to get open there. Fordham will go three wide to the right. Ajala split all the way out by the numbers, wide side. Niebrick in the gun. Gives, this is Kuntz up the middle, and he's brought down at the 43-yard line by Don Cherry at the line of scrimmage at the 43-yard line. It'll be second down and 10. Second down and 10 for Fordham at their own 43-yard line. 13.35 to go in the first quarter, no score. Two receivers split wide right, one wide to the left, Ajala, light in the slot as a wing left. Here's a throw to the right side. It's caught, knee just off the ground for Tabucky, but indeed his knee was on the ground at the 41-yard line on the screen. It's a loss of three yards and a bit unlucky there for Fordham, third and long. Yeah, that time Villanova bringing pressure on the edge, uh, maybe forced Niebrick to throw that one a little quicker than he wanted to. So let's call it third and 12 at the Fordham 41. Ajala will switch sides of the field. He'll move, move in motion, short side right. To Bucky Jones, wide left. Wetzel slot left, wing left is Dan Light. Kuhn stands next to Niebrick in the gun. Ball at the 41 of Fordham. Takes the snap, back to throw. He's looking, left side. He completes the light at the 42. Gets around one tackle towards midfield. Breaks another tackle and gets out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Good for a gain of 14 and a Fordham first down. What a great play by Niebrick there. Villanova coming in more of a 4-3 look, bringing the house, and uh, Niebrick just needed to stand tall in the pocket, deliver the pass, and there would be wide receivers open, and he finds Dan Light and gets a big yard. Fordham across midfield of the Villanova, 46-yard line, first down and 10. Two receivers, wide side right, Wetzel in the slot to Bucky Jones, wide right, Ajala split short side left, ball on the left hash, play action, back to throw, looking, play action, now he throws to the right side, and brought down in the backfield is Niebrick. It was Rakim Cox, first team all CAA senior, bringing him down at the 49 of Fordham. It's a loss of five. There we see Fordham's offensive line getting that first test uh, in the game here, and, and they didn't meet the challenge there. Three receivers split wide left on second and 15 at the 49. Flags down as the snap gets off. Looks to be in the area of a false start, perhaps. Yep. Offensive and indeed tackle, it is. Yep. Tough to see exactly who that was on. It looked like the tackle, le the left tackle. So that'd be Mason Halter, Mason Halter yep. the junior out of Hinkley, Ohio. So make it second down and 20 at the 44 of Fordham. 11.56 to go first quarter, no score. Niebrick in the gun, three receivers left. Back to throw Niebrick, under pressure, gets away from one tackle. He busts it out the right side across midfield to the 45 up the far sideline, slides out of bounds. He gets about 16 yards back into Villanova territory and down to the 38-yard line. And that's where you really see the dynamic playability of Michael Niebrick. You know, Brian Higgins did a great job last year, but you're not going to see many plays like that. So make it third down and two at the 38-yard line of Villanova after the 18-yard game. Four receivers set, 
with Light as a wing right. One receiver wide to the right. Koontz takes up the middle, gets the first down and more to the 40, uh, 35, and he drops down at the 34-yard line after a gain of four and a Fordham first down as they convert on that second and 20 and are able to get most of the yards and finish it on third and short. Makes it a more manageable third down, which Fordham's able to convert. No score. Fordham on their first drive, moving right to left on your radio dial. First and 10 at the 34 of Villanova. Niebrick in the gun. Three receivers wide side left. Ajala to Bucky. And Wetzel back to throw, rolling to his left, Niebrick. He throws to the near sideline, and it's caught by Tabucky at the 25. Works inside to the 20, and he's brought down by three Wildcats at the 20-yard line after a gain of 14 and a Fordham first down. Yeah, Villanova going with more of a soft coverage look right now in this early goings of this game, and uh, Niebrick's just tearing them apart. Under 11 minutes to go in the first quarter. Fordham Villanova no score. Fordham threatening into the red zone on their first offensive drive. Wetzel in the slot along with Tabucky Jones. One receiver all the way on the numbers is Sam Ajala all to the right. Koontz on the right, hip wide side of Niebrick. Niebrick checks the sideline, gets the play call, takes the snap, does the read, runs up the middle at the 20, and he's brought down at the 19-yard line by Corey Majors, the sophomore. Read option right up the middle that time. Maybe should have gave that one away. But leads for second down here. Make it second down and nine at the 19-yard line of Villanova. Three receivers split wide side right, ball on the left hash for Fordham as they move right to left down the field. Koontz on the right hip of Niebrick in the gun. On the line, left side tight end is Dan Light. Taking the snap is Niebrick. He drops back. He's looking right. He's going to run up the 20 to the 15. No one to beat him. 10, 5, into the end zone for the score at the pylon. 6-0 Fordham. Michael Niebrick, 19 yards to the end zone. Just a broken play, great dynamic run there. Free safety for Villanova was actually shaded to the right side. That left an opening on the left side of the field. And Niebrick just takes advantage of it with that blazing speed, is able to get to the end zone. 10-0-1 to go first quarter, Fordham ahead 6-0. Brian Wetzel will hold the long snapper Joe Sullivan. Mike Mirando on to kick the extra point. He was perfect last week against URI. 6-0 Fordham, snap back on the extra point. The kick is up. It is good as it splits the uprights. Fordham 7, Villanova nothing. 10-0, to go first quarter. Fordham drives down the field, 12 plays, and they finish in 4 minutes and 59 seconds. Javon White on the near side. Jamal Abdor Rockman stands at the goal line on the far hash to our left. No win to speak of as Mirando into the ball. It's going to come down to Javon White at the goal line, up across the 20, between the numbers and the hash. He continues to the 25, and he's brought down from behind at the 27-yard line. Nice return for White on the first chance for him on the kickoff for Villanova, and Villanova's offense onto the field. And now this is the big test of the game here. Uh, we're going to get to see the first glimpse of it, and we see the offensive line come on the field, those big guys. Averaging around 300 pounds in weight. And uh, how is Fordham's defensive line going to stack up? John Robertson goes back into the shotgun. FCS freshman of the year a year ago. Running back on his left hip, Manungai. One receiver in motion right to left. Abdor uh, takes it along the left side. He breaks it up the sideline to the 40s. Pushed out of bounds. Abdor Rockman on the end around. Gets out of bounds at the 44-yard line. A gain of 16. And a Villanova first down. Yeah, pretty basic sweep play. For Villanova's offensive line just going in a, a zone blocking scheme. Everyone going left and uh, able to pick up a big gain. Price and Livers on the right side of the formation. Three receivers set on the right, one tight end on the left. Back to throw is Robertson. He throws Menungai left side. He drops the ball in the left flat at the 48-yard line, incomplete. And that'll bring second down and 10 at the Villanova. 44-yard line. Fordham catches a break there. It looked like a coverage breakdown. No one accounted for him, and uh, if he had caught that, he, he would have had some room there. Livers, Abdor, Rockman, and one more receiver split wide to the right. One receiver, Price, wide to the left. Menungai next to Robertson, who fakes and runs up the middle towards midfield, and he's brought down by a whole host of Rams at the 49-yard line after a gain of five yards. Bring up third down and five. And already we're seeing that Villanova's line is driving back the defensive line of Fordham. The five-yard gain that should have been an, a, a no, law, uh, no gain on the play. Austin Medley into the backfield now for Villanova on this play. 
7-0, Fordham 9.05 to go first quarter. Fordham ahead. Villanova with the ball at their own 49-yard line on third down and five. One receiver wide left, two wide to the right. Wing left, tight end is Petway. Taking the snap, back to throw, looking left, throws left, complete. Price brought down at the 42-yard line of Fordham. Good for a first down and nine yards. And that time Fordham bringing the blitz with two linebackers coming on the blitz there. Wasn't able to make it home, so uh, Robertson had some time there to sit back in the pocket and find an open man. So Robertson, another nice throw. First down and 10 for Villanova at the Fordham 41-yard line. Man in motion is Abdur Rockman back behind him. Give up the middle is Medley. He gets down to the 39-yard line, and Medley brought down after a two-yard gain runoff left tackle with 8.30 to go in the first quarter. Fordham ahead 7-0, and Villanova knocking on the door, second down and eight. Fordham sticking with the traditional 4-3 look. On the previous play, they were in more of a 3-3 stack. Going for more beef here. Double tight set, Petway left. Morgan Craig is the tight left. Petway in the backfield is a wing left. Two receivers wide to the right. Robertson takes, rolls to the right. He's got time. He runs to the 40. He rushes to the sideline, and he's run out of bounds. Stephen Hodge runs him out at the 41-yard line, a loss of two on the run. And he'll bring up third down and 10 at the 41-yard line of Fordham. Hodge played that play perfectly, not giving up the edge to Robertson. We talked about it in the pregame. Don't give him the edge. And Hodge stayed level as he came on in the approach, not letting anywhere, not giving him any room to go, and uh, forces him out of bounds. Gallia split wide left. Abdor Rockman in the slot left. One receiver is Price wide right, Livers in the slot left, man on the right, hip of Robertson, the running back Medley, back to throw, third and 10, looking, runs towards the left side, evades one tackle, throws incomplete, he was trying to hit Price on the crossing route, and that'll bring up fourth down and 10. Another big break there for Fordham, he, he was pretty much wide open there with some room to go, so uh, good break for Fordham, good defensive series here in the early goings of this one, that's exactly what they needed. And now uh, they, they hand the ball back to Michael Niebrick for another chance to go ahead. And I don't know about you, I'm watching for fake punts after last week's Sports Center <laughs> top 10 play. The yeah. punter is Mark Hamilton. He stands back at his own 45 yard line on the near side hash. Fourth and 10 from the 41. He gets this ball oh. away just barely. Chapman nearly got there. This ball bounced out of bounds. Not a great punt. Goes out of bounds at the 38 yard line as it just Popped into the air, and it was a coffin corner punt gone wrong. And so Fordham, great field position at their own 38. And we go down to the sideline. Our first update from our sideline man, Matt Morrow. Matt? Well, Mike, the Rams sideline definitely pleased to get the ball back and stop the Wildcat offense on their first offensive drive. And they were especially pleased with how their offense performed on their first offensive drive, especially the Dan Light third and long catch for a first down, and then the Niebuhr 18-yard run, and then his touchdown run. And the Fordham Rams are very, very happy with that first offensive drive on the sideline. The coaches stressing the importance of a... Thanks, Matt. Is this ball thrown up the right side? It's intercepted. It was a skip pass to the right, and it was a fake trick play, and Ajala threw it right into the hands of Cameron McCurry. The trick play goes wrong for Fordham, and Villanova gets the football right back. Well, I like the call. I, I like going with the trick play there, but uh, unfortunately for Fordham, it doesn't work out. And, and one thing that you can't afford to do when you're playing against a team like Villanova is turn the ball over. And here we are halfway through the first quarter. We already have our first one. So luckily for Villanova, they get the ball back right where they were at the 40-yard line of Fordham. First down and 10 for the offense. One running back in the backfield with Robertson and a wing to the left side. There's Robertson in the shotgun on first and 10 at the Fordham. 40-yard line. Abdur Rockman in motion. Moving forward is Robertson. He's going to run across the 40, and he's brought down by Marino at the 36-yard line after a gain of four yards on first and 10. That time, Fordham bringing pressure on the far side of the field just doesn't get home, so Robertson has enough time to make an adjustment and uh, finally take it up the field. Kevin Manungai into the ball game as the running back. He'll stand next to Robertson in the shotgun. Off to his right, two receivers wide left. Double tight set, one on the right wing left. Here's a give right up the middle. Manungai stopped at the line of scrimmage. Right at the 36-yard line on the run left tackle. And that'll bring up third down and six. The Fordham run defense looking strong so far. So far, yeah. It's looking pretty good as well. Morgan Craig, the backup tight end, goes off the field, as does Ernest Petway. So two tight ends move off. Manungai comes out. Medley 
a great pass blocker as well as the running back comes in for Manunga. He's on the left hip of Robertson for Villanova on third down and six at the Fordham 36. Four receiver set, two on either side. Robertson in the gun, takes the snap back to throw. He's looking, he has time. He throws it deep down the left side. It's caught. Burke at the 20-yard line, and he spins down to the 18. Good for a Villanova first down into the red zone. That time Robertson sees Burke and... I think it was Ian Williams one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Williams not even looking back at the ball, and, Bur and Robertson's able to place that ball perfectly uh, for Burke to go ahead and grab it. Mike Burke out of Pennsylvania, the sophomore, making the big catch. He's in the slot right, two receivers with him on the right side. Manungai back into the game next to Robertson. He looks over to the sideline here on first down and 10 from the Fordham 18. Gets the play, barks the signals. Manungai moves to his right hip on this first and 10. Robertson takes, he gives. Up the middle, Manungai. He stopped at the line of scrimmage yet again. Several Fordham Rams in on the tackle as the defensive line coming up strong. It's actually a loss of one to the 19. And that's, that's several times now uh, that we've seen them try to run up the middle. And Fordham's defensive line kind of taking it personally a little bit here, it looks like, and uh, really doing a good job of stuffing the middle runs. Victor DeFusco leading that charge. Two receivers wide to the left, a pair wide to the right for Robertson in the gun. Second down and 11 at the Fordham 19-yard line in the red zone. Robertson, five minutes to go first quarter, down by seven. Throw to the left side, completes it. This is Price to the sideline. He's brought down at the sideline after a gain of five yards up to the about 13-yard line. Gain of six on the play will be third and five. Big play here for Fordham. Can you hold them to a field goal attempt? That's the main goal here uh, for Fordham. You don't want to give up this first down and, and let them tie this game. Maybe a question why Victor DeFusco is in the game as opposed to Jake Rodriguez at that middle linebacker position, but he's filling in very well on this drive. Second down. And 11 says the scoreboard, and they're going to Mark off a penalty. Encroachment against Fordham. Flag out of our out of our eyesight there. So that'll make it second down and six. Disappointing. So we've much rather had a third down and five instead of second down and six. So the ball up to the 14-yard line of Fordham. Villanova knocking on the door, trailing by seven. 442 to go in the first quarter. Two receivers split wide to the right and Petway, the tight end on the right side. It's Manungai in the backfield, takes the snap. This is Robertson. He runs the option to the right side, coming around the right side and up the sideline. Brought down is the wide receiver, Poppy Livers. He gets to the 10-yard line, make it the 9. He's close to the first down marker. They set the ball down, and indeed they... It looks like he's going to be a little bit short. He did indeed come a little yep. bit short. So third down and in inches. At the nine-yard line of Fordham for the Villanova offense. Manungai will move into the backfield on the right hip of Robertson in the gun. Two receivers split wide to the left. Tight right is Petway. And timeout called for by Villanova. Their first charge timeout. With Fordham ahead 7-0 and Villanova knocking on the door at about the 10-yard line of Fordham with four minutes to go in the first quarter. And it looks like, in this case, Andy Talley wanting a bit of a talk with his troops. Well, this is a big play here early on in this one. Uh, it, it's a chance to go to tie this game, and uh, it, even if it's uh, short yards, there's a lot of things you could do here. You could set up for, uh, you know, put the fullback in and, and line up tight and, and go for the QB sneak, or you can spread it out. So there's a couple of ways that uh, Villanova can go here. The coach wants to uh, talk it over with the troops, see what he does. So the Fordham Rams defense already back on the field. Pretty solid effort so far. Uh, from the Rams, especially the defensive line. Uh, a couple of runs up in the middle here. The Fordham has done a very good job of stuffing them out. Fordham forced a punt earlier in this ball game, tried to run a trick play, a screen to the right side, which Ajala caught after it bounced off the turf. He was looking for Wetzel deep up the right side, and the pass was intercepted by Villanova at their own 40, uh, pardon the Fordham 40, by Cameron McCurry, and now this drive coming off of that interception. Four minutes to go first quarter. Fordham ahead 7-0. Robertson takes the snap on third down and one. A run up the middle. Manungai near the line of scrimmage. And it comes down to the spot here. Yeah, it looks like they might have gotten it. Manungai was dragged backwards. We'll see where the referees decide to spot it. It's going to be close. 
And no gain. It'll be fourth Huge down play, and one. And you got to think Villanova stays on the field. Their offense standing there. Robertson, Manungai. It looks to be about barely a yard. I wouldn't even say it's a full yard. Like. Here we go. Burke and Price off to the left. You don't want to use another timeout, but it looks like that's exactly what Villanova is going to need to do. Well, they, Timeout Villanova, their second used on this drive, second and three plays make that. They're showing how important this sequence of plays is. And let us remind everyone that next Saturday, Fordham will hit the road for the first time this season as the Rams travel to Philadelphia to take on the Temple Owls. Kickoff is at 1 p.m. and we'll be on our usual one-on-one -on -one pregame report beginning at 12.50 right here on 90.7 and WFUV.org. Fordham and Temple next Saturday at 1 on your home for Fordham Sports, WFUV. Thanks, Nick. Mike Watts, Nick Legerfo with you. Matt Morrow down on the sideline. Fordham 7, Villanova 0, 316. Remaining in the opening quarter here in this big Patriot League CAA showdown. Villanova ranked 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th in various national polls. And coming to Rose Hill after Fordham led them at halftime last year in Pennsylvania and didn't quite pull it out. They're trying to add to their lead here. Uh, but first, they're going to have to keep Villanova off the board. It's Villanova in the red zone at the 10-yard line. Fourth down in inches. It's a double tight set for Robertson in the gun. Manungai on his left. He gives Manungai up the middle. He breaks through down to the five-yard line and dives forward for a five-yard gain and a first down. It looked like Fordham had some bodies in the backfield. I thought they might have been able to get him for a loss on that one. He just was able to slip through and uh, pick up that first down. Pretty safe play, though, the draw play. They've been running it a couple times here. Able to convert on that fourth down and one. Three receivers split wide to the left. Robertson in the gun on first down goal from the five. He takes. He runs to the left side. Inside the five, into the end zone for the touchdown. Touchdown Villanova, Fordham 7, Villanova 6, 250 to go in the first quarter, and the Wildcats have the extra point on the way. That time it looked like it was a designed run as the wide receivers were out in open field uh, get, getting the blocks on the Fordham DBs. Uh, plenty of room there. Robinson could have walked in if he wanted to. And uh, now it looks like we're going to have a tie game here pending this extra point. Mark Hamilton, 89 of 91 in his career on extra points. Cody Pittman will hold the sophomore Morgan Craig, the... Backup tight end will snap, snap back, ball down, kick is up. The kick is good. We're tied at seven with 2.50 to go in the opening quarter. Fordham two returners stand back. Creighton on the near hash mark stands at his own three. Jorge Solano, who returned the opening kickoff, stands on the far hash mark. He's about at his own two. Goff into the football. It's a high end over end kick that's going to get down to about the eight yard line. It's fielded here and run up by Solano. He runs towards the near sideline, cuts back upfield, and he's going to be wrapped up at the 25 yard line. And looks like seven Villanova Wildcats in on that tackle. <laughs> yeah, it was just a, a bunch of blue caps everywhere you look. <laughs> and so a, a nice return out to the 25 yard line, but it's like a touchback. Essentially. <laughs> yeah. Which will work here for Jorge Solano. Thought he may have had a little more room, but that hole closed up. So the Fordham offense back onto the field in the red jerseys, red pants, white trim. They move right to left on your radio dial. First down and 10 at their own 25. Mike Niebrick in the gun. Dan Light is on the left side as a wing. Two receivers, Ajala and Wetzel wide right. Here's a throw to the right side. It's Koontz. He's brought down at the 20-yard line in the backfield on the screen. Five-yard loss, second down and 15 coming up at the Fordham 20. That play works if Brian Wetzel is able to hold his block. Just unfortunately, the defensive back was too powerful there. Comes up, makes a great open field tackle on Carlton Coots, and here we have second down. Three receivers splitting wide to the left this time, wide side of the field. Dan Light, tight right. It's Wetzel and Tabaki Jones in the slot left. Ajala split out just inside the numbers. Niebrick in the gun. Coots next one. Play action, fakes the screen. Now he's going to run to the right side. Throws it to the right side. It bounces right in front of Dan Light at the 30 yard line, incomplete. What we're starting to see is Michael Niebuhr getting a little flustered there. We go, I'd like to see him com compose himself a little bit better than that. It seems like he forced that one in, into a spot where maybe it shouldn't have gone. So Niebuhr throws the incomplete pass. Dan Light checks out. Jorge Solano comes on. He's in the slot short side right along with Sam Ajala. Two receivers split wide to the left. Niebuhr in the gun. Kuhn stands right next to him. Third down and 15 at their own 20 for Fordham. Back to throw Niebrick. He's looking. He throws right side. It's caught over the middle of the field. Moving is Solano. He's pulled down at the 33-yard line. 
He is a yard short. Make that uh, Sam Ajala over the middle who made that catch. Fordham on fourth and one is going to have to punt after the 14-yard gain. Yeah, you hope that Sam Ajala is able to make a play in space. That time there was just too many Villanova defenders. There's probably about three of them in the, in the middle of the field there able to stop him before he gets the first down yardage. Joe Pavlik, freshman punter, stands back at his own 19-yard line. Poppy Livers stands back at his own 25 to return. Pavlik very good last week, just under a 40-yard average. As the punter for Fordham on five punts. Snap is back. It's a good one. Gets this ball away. It's a high end over end kick. Calling for fair catch at the 30 on the far hash. And making the catch is Livers. 1.16 to go in the first quarter. Villanova and Fordham tied at seven. And field position turns back here. Villanova offense to get the ball at their own 30. So Nick, as we look at these two teams, it seems like they've found a, maybe a happy medium here. They've maybe reached a bit of an impasse, huh? Yeah, it's it's been quite a fun one so far. Uh, it's fun in the respect if you like defensive play, <laughs> which I'm a defensive guy, so this is great for me. 116 to go first quarter. Villanova with the football tied at seven. First down and 10 at their own 30-yard line. The uh, sophomore Robertson in the backfield. He's joined by Kevin Menungai. Three receivers, trips right, man in motion. As Abdur Rockman, he takes the handoff and runs up the middle to the left side off tackle and is brought down at the 31-yard line. A little less success on this end around. It'll be second down and about eight and a half. Yeah, that time Fordham seeing this play right from the get-go. Everybody, so many bodies flowing to the side of the ball and uh, able to snuff that one out for minimal gain. Livers and Burke split out wide to the right. Wide side of the field, one receiver wide to the left is Price. Manungai in the backfield next to Robertson. Robertson fakes the call. Now in the shotgun, takes. Second down and eight at his own 32. Back to throw. He's going to run up the middle, and he's brought down over the middle of the field at the 40, make that the 38-yard line. Good for a gain of six. Third down and two coming up with just under 30 seconds to go in the first quarter, and this game tied at seven. Yeah, Fordham going with more of a 4-2 look now. So uh, at times it's going to leave the middle of the field open, and we saw Robertson take advantage of that on that last play. Burke split just inside the numbers wide right. Abdor Rockman in the slot right. One receiver wide to the left is Joe Price. Manungai stands next to Robertson in the gun. Enough time that he doesn't need to get a playoff here. Four seconds left first quarter. Third down into his own 38. Takes under pressure, drops the football. Back at the 33-yard line, Fordham's on it. Brett Beestick got in there, and at the bottom of the pile, there's going to be a Fordham Ram, and indeed it is. Well, Beestick just comes in totally untouched, and actually, correction, that was Moreno on that play and, there. And it was Beestick who got there, but Moreno was Marino there to pick was it able up. to get the cup. Yeah, he's able to recover the fumble there. Beestick comes in totally untouched, definitely a missed uh, a blocking assignment there, and Fordham is able to get the momentum heading into the second quarter now. And so at the end of the first quarter, Fordham gets the football back in Villanova territory. We are tied at seven. Fordham offense is just 34 yards away from Pater to start this second quarter after a fumble forced by Brett Beestick to end the first quarter, recovered by Nick Marino. Fordham in Villanova territory. First down and 10 at the 34, the Wildcats. Niebrick in the gun. One receiver right, two to the left. Give Koontz up the middle, moves to the right sideline, and is brought down at the 35-yard line. No gain on the play, maybe a one-yard loss. A pretty safe call there. Handed the ball to Koontz. Uh, just Villanova is ready for it, so here we are, second down. Second down and 11 at the 35 of Villanova. Tied at 7, 14-40 to go second quarter. Niebrick in the gun. Ajala split wide right to Bucky Jones, wide left. Wetzel in the slot inside. Play action back to throw. Niebrick looking deep up the right side. Ajala in the end zone. Can't bring it down. He was defended on the play by the corner, Craig James, and went right through his hands, his outstretched arms above his head, incomplete. That ball was placed perfectly out of reach where only Ajala could get the ball. Uh, just unfortunately goes right through his hands. Incomplete pass, and Jorge Solano comes on. Dan Light off, so Fordham in a four-receiver set. Carlton Kuntz on the left hip of Fordham quarterback Michael Niebrick, third and 11 at the Villanova 35-yard line. Three receivers splitting out wide to the left, one wide to the right is Ajala, back to throw. Looking, Niebrick over the middle, completes at the 30, down to the 25, and uh, diving forward, it's 
Brian Wetzel down to the 22 yard line. Good for 13 yards and a Fordham first down. Third and long, Villanova comes bringing the pressure. If Dnieper can just sit in the pocket and compose himself, he gets that pass off easily, and he does. And so here we go. So Wetzel in slot left to Bucky Jones, wide left, Sam Ajala inside the number, short side right wing right is Dan Light. One receiver, make that one running back in the backfield, Carlton Kuntz right next to Michael Niebrick. First and 10 at the 22 of Villanova, taking the snap, throw left side, it's a screen to Bucky at the 20, into the 15, moves outside to the numbers and he's brought down at the 11 yard line. Good for a gain of 11 yards and another Fordham first down into the red zone. And this play works because of Brian Wetzel's blocking on the outside. He, had, he was able to get two Villanova defenders at one time and uh, able to free the runner for, for a big gain here. Carlton Kuntz remains in the backfield. Wetzel slot right to Bucky Jones. Wide right just inside the numbers. Wide side of the field. Ajala wide left first and 10 from the 11 yard line. Fordham one more first down available to them just inside the one. Niebrick in the gun, takes, back to throw from the left hash, fakes the run, now he's going to keep it up the left side to the 10, to the 5, cuts in, brought down at the 3-yard line. It was the cornerback Craig James in on the tackle, came up and made the stop after an 8-yard gain. Pretty good play for Niebrick, checked first, secondary read, nothing there, takes it himself, managed to pick up some yards there. So make that second down and 3 at the 4-yard line, similar situation to what we saw last week, three receivers wide to the right, Running back on the right hip of Niebrick. Here's the give. Koontz up the middle. Up to the goal line and in for the score. Touchdown Fordham. 13 points for Fordham here early in the ball game. They take a 13-7 lead with the extra point on the way. 13-0-2 to go in the second quarter. That time Fordham lined up heavy on the near side of the field, causes Villanova to creep over to that side. Kuntz just does a cutback left, and he's able to go in easily for the score. Brian Wetzel will hold. Mike Mirando, perfect through the first game and a half or so, on to kick the extra point. Sullivan will snap. Snap is back, the ball is down, the kick is up. It's high enough, and it is true, it's good. 14-7 Fordham. 13.02 to go in the second quarter after the Carlton Kuntz four-yard touchdown run. Thank you, Anthony. Welcome back to Jack Coffee Field. 13.02 to go second quarter. For him kicking off with a 14-7 lead after scoring a touchdown. And this ball caught Abdur Rockman out across the 25, the 30. He breaks it up the far sideline to the 50, and he's brought down at the 40-yard line on the far side on uh, Fordham territory. On the play, LeVon Williams making the stop and Abdur Rockman almost running it back for the score. Well, we know that he has dynamic speed. That time he cuts left, then moves back right, and uh, Fordham kind of favors one side there. Everyone's caught on the wrong side of the ball, and he just rips down the sideline for a huge gain. 62-yard return, 14-7 Fordham Villanova into Fordham territory now, right about where Fordham got the football on their last possession. Let's see what Villanova can do with it. Manon guy stands next to Robertson in the gun. Two receivers wide left, first down and 10 at the 37 of Fordham for Villanova. Back to throw Robertson, looking deep down the right side, fires it up. Chapman unable to bring it down, but instead it's Price who brings it down at the nine yard line on the jump ball. Good for a gain of about 20 and a Villanova first down inside the 10. Yeah, that time Chapman caught on the outside. He allowed the receiver to get inside leverage, and uh, that's, that's kind of out of position for a defensive back, so the receiver's able to get the ball there. Nice throw by Robertson. Better catch by Joe Price, the senior 6'3", out of Havertown, Pennsylvania. First and goal at the nine-yard line for Villanova offense. Two receivers wide left, Burke and Price. One receiver wide to the right. Man in motion is Burke. Moves to the slot left. Here's a run to the left side. Robertson holding, throws deep down the left side, into the end zone, and Burke is dropped at the one-yard line. He was trying to drop his shoulder in, and it's Jordan Chapman making the stop inches from the goal line. Gain of eight and a half, second down and goal. Chapman playing a little soft there on the coverage. I, I'd like to see him play a little up on the line. He, he's given him quite a cushion, and uh, that was just too easy there for Robertson to just dump that ball in. Second and goal from the one yard line for Villanova's offense, 14-7. Fordham ahead, just under 12 minutes to go second quarter. Menungai, right hip of Robertson in the gun. Two receivers wide right, quarterback sneak up the middle and in for the score is Robertson. It's 14-13 with the extra point on the way. Fordham ahead, but not for long, 11.42 to go in the second quarter. And this is what we've been seeing a lot. 
And needless to say, coming up and going under center surprised everybody. He went right underneath center and barreled over for the touchdown. Robertson for the score, one yard. 11.42 to go second quarter. It's going to be Hamilton in to kick the extra point. Pittman will hold. Morgan Craig, the backup tight end, is the long snapper. Snap back, the ball is down, the kick is up, and the kick is perfect. We're tied at 14, 11.42 to go in the second quarter in the Bronx. We're tied at 14, 11.42 to go second quarter. Chris Goff is getting ready to kick off for the Wildcats right to left. Puts his arm up. Takes his steps, he's into the football. It's high and end over end. It's going to get down to about the five. Solano takes. He runs up the near side hash, moves to the numbers at the 20, cuts back in, brought down at the 22-yard line. That's where Fordham will open up shop with 11.36 to go in the second quarter and a tie ball game at 14. Now this is kind of a big drive here for Fordham as uh, Villanova just answers back when you take the lead here. And, and what's Fordham going to do here? This is, should be interesting to see how they respond here to a little adversity. So Fordham, of course, comes out already over the ball. No need for a huddle. Michael Niebrick in the shotgun on first down and 10 at his own 23-yard line for Fordham. Three wide receivers splitting wide side left. Wetzel, Jones, and Ajala tight right is Dan Light. Niebrick barks out signals, takes the snap, play action, fakes the screen left. Now he throws over the middle. It's nearly intercepted. He was hit as he threw. Ball falls incomplete at the 32-yard line. Quite nearly picked off, nearly the second pick of the game for McCurry. Kind of a lucky break that it got tipped there. Otherwise, uh, if he had a little bit more mustard on that one, that would have been going the other way, and it might have been six points. I don't think anybody else was in the area. So lucky break there for Fordham, and now it's second down as opposed to Villanova ball. So 11.31 to go, second quarter, tied at 14. Second and 10 coming up for the Fordham offense at their own 23. Two receivers wide left, Ajala split short side right inside the numbers. Takes, throws left side, this is Tabucky Jones on the screen. Breaks one tackle to the 25, and he's drilled at the 26-yard line and brought down. Gain of three yards, makes it third and seven at the 26 of Fordham. So Bucky Jones has been uh, pretty impressive so far. We see him get the ball there again. Makes a nice little move there to evade one guy and uh, able to get a decent gain here, setting up third down. So third down and seven at the Fordham 26. One receiver short side left, and everybody jumps off for Villanova. They're able to get back as Fordham now gets the uh, offside call as it was the left outside linebacker who jumped all the way across the line of scrimmage and into the Fordham backfield, Joey Harmon. Although it did look like the line judge on this near side was, was motioning for a false start. So it should, see, should be interesting to see how they work this out. The flag was thrown to the Villanova side of the field on the right side of the line of scrimmage from our vantage point. It's third and seven for Fordham. Depending on this penalty, we'll see if it moves forward or back. Here's the call. No penalty is the call, so it seems like both sides can be happy with the result. Yeah, unless a Villanova player touches a Fordham guy, uh, a Fordham player, there's going to be no penalty on that one. So third down and seven from the 26 of Fordham for the Rams offense. Two receivers wide right to Bucky Jones, just inside the numbers, just inside the hash mark, Brian Wetzel. Niebrick in the gun. Standing next to him is... Carlton Kuntz, the red shirt senior running back, taking the snap back to throw. He looks, throws right. Dan Light catches it at the 26. Busts forward across the 30. Is brought down at the 34-yard line, close to the first down marker. So on a third down and seven, it was a little leak play to the right side for Dan Light. He made the catch, barreled down, and came close to the first down marker. And so the referees will bring out the chains. I think Joe Moorhead doesn't like the spot as he well, speaks he, with the officials. He's got a good vantage point right in, front of the, <laughs> right in front of the ball there. They stretch the chains out, and it's good it's for a, a Fordham first down. first down. What an impressive play that was, though. Uh, Villanova bringing the blitz. Uh, Nabrick under pressure, goes to the safety valve. Dan Light, who's just sitting in the flat. Easy pitch and catch, so to speak, and uh, Light's able to make some good moves with his legs to get that first down. So Muscle his way there for the extra... For extra first down there. And that's the difference. Yeah. I suppose that's the 212th degree in this case. First down and 10 for Fordham at their own 33 after the Dan Light pitch and catch. Three receivers split wide side of the field left, light, tight, right. On the left side of Kuntz, uh, make that left side of Niebrick is Kuntz in the shotgun. 
10.26 to go, second quarter, tied at 14. Play action, throw to the left side. It's caught by Wetzel. He brings it up the field to the 35, towards the sideline. Comes down, ball's loose. And indeed, Wetzel was down on the field, barely got his knee down. Villanova would have had the football. Corey Reeder was on it. But instead, it's good for a gain of about four, maybe three yards. The line judge on the far side quickly making that call to avoid any controversy that we may have had. Uh, but a great play there by Fordham, a really deceptive play. The offensive line, everybody moving right, and the play is actually going left. So Fordham, uh, so Villanova's defense is actually flowing to the near side of the field, and the play is going to the opposite way. Niebrook was drilled as he threw, but able to get it to Wetzel for the gain of three. Second and seven for Fordham at their own 36-yard line, 9.45 to go second quarter, tied at 14. Two receivers wide right, one wide to the left is Ajala. In the shotgun on the left hash, here's a give up the middle. Koontz brought down from behind at the 36 for no gain. Things starting to get a little chippy out there. Looked like Rakim Cox, Antoine Lewis, both all CAA in on that stop. It'll give him a yard on the play, a little forward progress. Koontz will come out for Fordham. Jorge Solano in, Dan Light stays in in this formation. One tight four receiver. On third down and six at the 37 of Fordham. Nobody in the backfield with Niebrick. Three receivers wide side right, one wide to the left is Ajala. Wing left is light, takes the snap, back to throw. He looks, throws left. He completes Ajala, brought down near the sticks. He's got the first down up to the 44, maybe, maybe a 45-yard line, eight yards, and a Fordham first down. Perfectly executed play there. Ajala running the, out, the stop route, rather, on the outside, and... Uh, Niebrick actually has to throw that ball before he turns around. So perfect timing play, and it works out well for Fordham. So first down and 10 for Fordham at their own 45-yard line after the completion. Sam Ajala split wide left. Solano just inside of him on the short side of the field. Two receivers, Tabucky Jones and Brian Wetzel in the slot right. Play action on the end around to Solano. Now a throw to the right side. Solano has it intercepted as it's pulled down in the air, running back the other way and into the end zone for the pick six for the score is Villanova. It was Jerry Miles, the defensive back. It went in and out of the hands of Solano and right into the hands of a streaking Jerry Miles for the pick six. 8.21 to go second quarter. Villanova up. 2014 with the extra point on the way. Just, wow. Just a bad break there for Fordham. Looked like a pretty simple play. Solano was just doing a little wheel route outside the backfield and not able to bring that one down cleanly, juggling the ball a little bit, and he juggled it right into the hands of Jerry Miles, who takes it back the other way. No one was even there. If that doesn't remind you of what happened last year for Fordham when a ball popped out, a fumble, and it was brought back all the way for the score by Villanova, I don't know what will. Mark Hamilton. In to kick the extra point. The kick is up, and the kick is good. A huge change in momentum. 21-14 Villanova. 21-14 Villanova with the lead. They're about to kick off. Chris Goff sets the ball at the 35-yard line. Jorge Solano right back into it. He's going to be on the near side hash to return. Jared Creighton on the far side hash at his own two, waiting to return this kick. Goff is into it, high kick, end over end. It's long and into the end zone. It's caught here by the Solano. He brings it out to the 15, moves to the sideline, tiptoes out of bounds, the 18-yard line, and that return only 18 yards, and that's where Fordham starts their offensive possession. Yeah, very questionable decision on Solano's part to take that one out of the end zone. Uh, you would have got the ball at the 25-yard line in college if you take that touchback, and uh, you, end up, you end up losing some yardage there, but uh, that's what Fordham's going to have to deal with here. So Fordham backed up just a little bit at their own 18-yard line. First down and 10 for them as the offense trots onto the field. Koontz back into the ball game. He'll stand next to Michael Niebrick, the Fordham quarterback in the shotgun on this first and 10. Wetzel in the slot left. To Bucky Jones, wide left, short side of the field, right is Sam Ajala, along with wing right, Dan Light. Back to throw, looking right, throws right, completes the 25, sliding to the ground and making the catch, Sam Ajala. Gain of about seven yards, brings up a second and short. Going with the safe throw there, pretty safe. Uh, Ajala just running the quick stopping route near the sideline, and Niebrick fires it out there. Second and three for Fordham at their own 25, quick snap. Give up the middle. This is Koontz. Breaks it up the right side. Up to the 30. 
and he's brought down, ridden down at the 33-yard line, a gain of eight, and a big time. Fordham first down with 7.48 to go second quarter, and Fordham trailing by seven. Big time run by Carlton Coots. All those extra yardage, that was all him. There was about three or four Villanova defenders. He's able to fight through and gain the extra yardage for the first down. To Bucky Jones, Brian Wetzel. Wide left, Sam Ajala, wide right, ball in between the hash marks on first down and 10 at the Fordham 33. Wing right, light, running back right as Koontz fakes and brought down in the backfield is Michael Niebrick. Totally untouched on the play was the defensive lineman that came in. Looks like that's Pat Williams. The nose tackle, it's a loss of five at the 28. And that was solely Pat Williams there just beating uh, – beating Mizero, I think, right through the center. Uh, they didn't even blitz on the play, so that's just athleticism. So second and 15 for Fordham at their own 28-yard line. Three receivers set in a tight end wing right. Running back on the right, hip of Niebrick. Takes the sh uh, shotgun snap, back to throw, rolls right. He's going to run a lot of room across the 30, up the numbers to the 35-40, and he's brought down at the 46-yard line. Good for a gain of about 17 yards. They needed 15, and a Fordham first down. Villanova bringing pressure on the far side of the field. Niebrick looks to the near side. No one's there, so he takes advantage of it and uh, gets a big chunk of yardage there. So Fordham a first down out near midfield at their own 46-yard line. First and 10, two receivers wide left, wide side of the field. One receiver wide right on the numbers, Ishala. Light just off the line, off right tackle. Kuhn stands next to Niebrick. He stands about five yards behind center. Takes, fakes, throws, left side. This is going to be Tabaki Jones out across the 50 as he goes between two would-be tacklers to the 46. He's brought down on the numbers. Good for a gain of about eight and into Villanova territory. Jerry Miles for Villanova coming in on the blitz, and Niebrick throws right into the blitz and uh, leaves Tabucky Jones with, uh, with the ball with two defenders to beat. He makes one move but uh, not able to shake the second guy. Villanova with a wide three front. Three receivers wide to the right, tight end left side. Dan Light on second down and two at the 46-yard line of Villanova. Koontz now moves to the right hip of Niebrick after the audible. Niebrick stands just across midfield. He calls timeout despite eight seconds being left on the play clock. It's Fordham's first charge timeout. Villanova will only have one left here as 541 remains in the second quarter. Fordham trailing 21-14, but with the ball, at the Villanova 46. And WFUVsports.org is where you can go to get caught up on all things Fordham and professional sports. Right now on WFUVsports.org, you can check out our first Roach Report of the Year with Fordham Athletic Director David Roach later tonight. Exclusive coverage of the U.S. Open, Week 1 of NFL Friday, and baseball talk courtesy of our twice-weekly podcast, On Deck. Go to WFUVsports.org to get yourself caught up on all things Fordham, professional, and one-on-one. -on -one. Check it out now, WFUVsports.org. Let's talk about Michael Niebrick for just a moment, Nick. 15 of 19, 115 yards. He has uh, led two touchdown drives so far. Has not thrown for one, though. Sacked twice, but that interception, which obviously not his fault. Not yet. Yeah, just the fault. way it goes. Yeah, but, but a good stat line for him. For it. Yeah, I, I think the, the biggest thing that he's been able to do is he's been able to see when he can run and uh, he's been opportunistic when there's not when there's voids in the field he's been taking advantage of it and he's also been uh, spotting the the lack of coverage when it's there Fordham out of the timeout second and two at the 46 of Villanova Fordham with a three receiver set a pair to the right one to the left on the left hash play action instead of give up the middle Koontz dives forward for a gain of four and he's able to crawl in for the first down Carlton Coots, not the biggest guy on the field, but, man, he's, he's able to fight for those extra yards time and time again, and, and we see it there again. He probably could have been stopped for a loss there, but he's able to fight through and get first down yardage. 5.26 to go on a running clock second quarter. Villanova had 21-14. Second down, make that first down and 10 up to the 42-yard line of Villanova after the Coots' four-yard gain. Three receivers off to the right, one receiver, the tight end on the left side. Uh, ball on the left hash. Here's a give up the middle. It's Koontz. Breaks to the 40, and he's brought down between the hash marks from behind. About to the 39-yard line, gain of three. Make it second and seven. It's very manageable down here for Fordham. Uh, everything's pretty much open. Run, pass. Two receivers split wide left, one wide to the right, and the tight end, Dan Light, is a wing to the right. 
Coons stands next to Niebrick in the gun. Back to throw. He looks, throws over the right side, completes to Ajala at the 30, and he's brought down by two tacklers at the 24-yard line. Good for a Fordham first down. Shane Harris made the stop. At that time, uh, Villanova in the quarters defense with one-on-one -on -one coverage on Ajala down on the near side of the field, and uh, Ajala is able to, to get open and then uh, be able to make the catch here. Dan Light comes off. First time we've seen Marcus Jones in the slot left side to Bucky Jones. Wide left, first down and 10 for Fordham at the 24 of Villanova. Taking the snap is Niebrick. He's going to run up the right side of the 25. Now he throws up the right side. Ajala turns around, catches it, and drops it in the end zone. Incomplete. He threw it right at the line of scrimmage and quite nearly found Ajala in the end zone, but no, second and 10. I don't think Ajala was ready for that one. It, he threw it. And uh, Ajala turns around, and I, I just think it caught him off guard. But it was in his hands. Maybe he should have had that one. Who knows? Brian Wetzel out of the ball game for Fordham. Marcus Jones in for him. Second down and 10 at the 24 of Villanova. Fordham going to try and find another opportunity to get the ball into the end zone here. After the incomplete pass. Tight end right side, Dan Light. Three receivers wide left. Jones, Jones, and Ajala. Niebrick calls for time. Three seconds were left on the play clock. Timeout Fordham with 4.11 to go in the second quarter. Fordham trailing by seven, but knocking on the door at the 24-yard line of Villanova. They'll have second down and 10 out of the timeout. And I think at this point in the game, Joe Moorhead, uh, he understands that this drive is pretty important in the, in the first half of this game, even though it is the first half. So he doesn't want to call any plays that uh, could potentially – not be the right call. So he, he's uh, calling a timeout here and uh, make sure he gets the guys in the right position. This Fordham crowd trying to amplify the crowd noise we saw last week. A huge student section that works all the way through two sections and a solid Villanova showing. This stadium's about 7,500 seats. I'd say maybe five to 6,000 on hand for this one. Maybe yeah. uh, even up to 5,500 to 6,000. I would agree with you there. It's a, definitely a good showing. One of the better showings that, that I've seen uh, since my time here at Fordham. And uh, it's great to see. It's great to see, definitely. So the Villanova defense back onto the field. Maybe got away with one as Sam Ajala turned around, had the ball forced out of his hands after he made the catch in the end zone for an incomplete pass. And so Fordham with the football trailing by seven with 4.11 to go in the first half. Second down and 10 at the 24 of Villanova. Three receivers splitting wide to the left. Both Joneses in the slot left. Ajala wide left for Fordham. Koontz right next to Niebrick in the gun. Niebrick rolls to the right. Fakes, throws up the right side, in and out of the hands. Nearly a one-handed leap and grab for Koontz on the near sideline. Incomplete at the 15. And that'll bring up third and 10 at the 24-yard line of Villanova. Yeah, Niebrick rushed that one just a hair. If he's able to get that ball into Kuntz's hands, uh, there was some room to work with for Carlton Kuntz. But uh, unfortunately, it was a little too high for him, out of reach, and Kuntz not able to bring that one in. Jorge Solano into the ball game. Ajala split wide right to Bucky Jones, wide left in the slot. Marcus Jones and Jorge Solano in the shotgun is Niebrick, 10 left on the play clock. Light is the wing right. He's all alone in the backfield. Niebrick takes. Back to throw. Pressure. Throws over the middle. This is Ajala. And he's brought down, cutting back into the middle of the field at the 18-yard line. Gain of six. It'll bring on fourth and four. And Mike Mirando, the kicker, steps in. And a player down on the field for Villanova at the 19-yard line. So Fordham going to have a different holder in. Van Vincent Antonozzi, the backup long snapper, will hold. Joe Sullivan will snap. Mike Mirando in to kick. It's going to be about a 35-yard kick on fourth and three from the 17-yard line of Villanova. Snap back. The ball is down. The kick is up. It looks good. End over end, and it is. 35-yard field goal for Mike Mirando. Makes it a 21-17 Villanova lead with 3.44 to go in the first half. Villanova with a four-point lead, 3.44 to go in the second quarter. Mike Watts, Nick Legerfo here on WFUV. Glad you could be with us on this brilliant September Saturday evening. Mirando into the ball, high end over end. It goes to the far side. White will return from his own one, one foot on the goal line. Out across the 10 to the 15, and he is brought down by two Rams as he continues to work forward from the 20 to the 25. And that's where Villanova opens up shop with a little over three and a half minutes to go in the second quarter, trying to expand their four point lead. And now for Fordham here, you really want to try to get a stop as quick as you can because keep in mind, uh, you, your offense does tend to work pretty quickly. 
but uh, you, you want to give them a chance at the end of this half here. So the Fordham defense out, now the Villanova offense joining. Kevin Menungai stands just behind Robertson in the pistol. First time we've seen this. Double tight set. Two receivers, one on either side. Man in motion is Abdur Rockman. Here's the end around, up the right side. He busts up the right sideline to the 40 and out of bounds rather at the 35 yard line. He stepped out right at the marker. It's good for a first down for Villanova on the end around to the speedy wide receiver. Pistol is a formation that we rarely see. Uh, it was actually made popular in, at University of Nevada. Colin Kaepernick was one of the, uh, the forefronts of those. <laughs> Guess what he runs now with the 49ers. <laughs> No more pistol this time. Three receivers wide left, first down and 10 for Villanova at their own 35, 310 to go second quarter, ahead by four. Robertson in the gun, gives Manungai up the middle. He is brought down at the 37 yard line near the line of scrimmage. Gain of two yards, DeAndre Slate in on the stop. The big Fordham nose guard who is really one of the better defensive players I think Fordham has had in the last few years. He just keeps getting better. And he's played very well today. Uh, we've mentioned it several times that Villanova hasn't had success running the middle. Four receiver set. Two to the right, two to the left for Robertson on second down and eight from his own 37. He's in the gun. He's got Manungai next to him in the, in the gun. Drops back to throw. He looks, throws the near side. Medley in the backfield. Nearly brought down at the 40. Continues up to the 45. And he's brought down at the 47 out of bounds for a Villanova Wildcat first down, a gain of 11. Yeah, well, LeVon Williams was coming on the blitz far side of the field. We thought we had a chance of getting Robertson before he could release the ball. He just gets it off, and uh, Villanova was able to get the first down. Clay Horn splits wide right. Poppy Livers just inside of him on the right hash on the wide side of the field. Wing right, running back on the right hip of Robertson is Medley in the shotgun. Robertson takes, play action, rolls to the right with time. He looks, now under pressure, throws to the right side on the sideline. It's caught by Horn, and he did keep a foot in bounds before rolling out for about seven yards at the 47-yard line of Fordham. Yep, great precision passing there right on the sideline. Just a complete bullet threaded the needle uh, past the, defense, uh, the Fordham defensive back right on the sideline and stops the clock. Under two minutes to go in the second quarter. Villanova had by four, second down and three at the 47 of Fordham. Burke splits wide to the left. Robertson in the shotgun. Fordham with a large fan uh, contingent here, very loud, very excited, and most of them sit right in front of us. Announcement made by the referees. Clock set down to 152 in the second quarter, and the clock now runs. Second down and three at the 47 of Fordham. A give right up the middle. Medley dives in and gets across the right side of the line for five yards. He's brought down at the 43-yard line as he kept pushing that pile for a Villanova first down. And that's been their favorite play so far in the short yardage situation. They had a quick draw play, and it's been quite successful for him. 135 to go second quarter. Villanova ahead by four. First and 10 from the 43 of Fordham. Robertson back to throw. He's looking, throws deep down the right side. Abdur Rockman makes the catch at the 10. Ball's loose at the 10-yard uh, line, and they're going to call it. The referees converge. They're going to say he caught it. The judge on the far side is marking it. It is indeed a catch. He dropped it after it looked like his hindquarters reached the turf. Good for a first down into the red zone at the 10 yard line of Fordham. Looks like Levon Williams just lost track of him out there. And uh, fortunate for Fordham, it was near the sideline. Levon was able to come back and push him out of bounds. But uh, definitely a concern as they head into the red zone here. Mike Burke checks out. Petway and Craig, the tight ends in. It's Medley standing behind uh, Robertson in the pistol. Two receivers wide left, Price and Livers. Just over a minute to go as the clock ticks down in the second quarter. Here's the give up the right side on first and goal. And down to the five yard line to the far hash mark and over the numbers brought down at the five yard line is Medley on the run. 48 seconds and ticking to go in the second quarter. Villanova by four and with one timeout to go. Second and five at the five yard line make that second and goal. Manungai stands on the left hip of Robertson in the gun. Two receivers left, one to the right, back to throw, looking, throw, fade up the right side. Ian Williams 
pops it up, and it's knocked out of bounds away from Joe Price incomplete. Third and goal. And be sure to stay tuned for the one-on-one -on -one halftime report. We'll have first-half highlights, scores from around the country, and we'll take a look at the first half, all coming up at halftime on 90.7. Third down and five. A field goal would be a huge stop here for Fordham. Third and goal at the five. Two receivers to the left. Burke in the slot. Horn wide to the left. One receiver wide to the right. Make that two. One in the slot. Robertson in the gun. Takes. Back to throw. He looks. He looks to the right. Throws a fade again into the back of the end zone. It's incomplete, but a flag is down. But it was intercepted in the end zone. Running it back the other direction at the 30. He's off on the races to the 50. To the 40. Nobody in front of him. Three behind him inside the 10. Ian Williams for the score. This is going to come back, Mike. Hate, hate to up in the parade that the fans here are having, but uh, Austin Hancock not even looking back at the ball. I think he's going to get called for pass interference here. I don't know how Ian Williams got that ball. would have been a 109-yard return. We wave for the call. They're running it all the way back. Yep. And Coach Moorhead asking the referee, Pass interference. It goes against Austin Hancock. Yep. 108 yard interception return for a touchdown nullified. Villanova there had a mismatch. Austin Hancock, a linebacker, obviously lined up against the wide receiver, Abdul Rockman. And uh, that's, a, that's a matchup they'll take every day. And Austin Hancock just beat on the play, not even looking back at the ball. And that's going to get called every time. Fordham nearly an interception return for a touchdown for the second straight week. It's not so. 22 seconds to go, second quarter. And an automatic first down on the pass interference call against Hancock. First and goal from the two and a half yard line, half the distance to the goal, the penalty. Two receivers wide left, one wide to the right. Tight end right side, Petway. It looks like they're going to add time back onto the clock for the Ian Williams interception return. Waiting to see. And they're not. They're going to leave it at 22. Robertson in the gun. Looks man in motion left to right. Burke, he moves to the slot left. Roll to the left. Running is Robertson. He gets down to the one. And he's dropped at the one-yard line. Ball's loose. Fordham's on it. It was dropped at the six-yard line. That's where the ball finally came to a rest. Fordham says they've got it. Coming out with it is the Fordham defensive lineman, Alex Washington, and he does have it. Victor DeFusco was following Robertson parallel to the line of scrimmage the whole entire time, meets him at the one-yard line, and as he's bringing him down, Robertson's fighting for extra yards, and DeFusco just rips that ball out, and Fordham gets a break here. I wouldn't be surprised to see a kneel down here. Just go to halftime, only behind four. Problem is, is I don't think Niebrick's taken a snap under center since <laughs> high school. He's in the shotgun with three receivers. He takes, he gives, Koontz up the middle, and he's brought down the six-yard line, happy to go down. It's as good as a kneel down. Hand it off to Koontz. The ball's in good hands. Clock down to three, two. No timeouts will be used. We go to halftime. Fordham with a huge defensive stop. Victor DeFusco at the goal line, stopping Robertson, jarring the ball loose. And Alex Washington came out of the pile with the football to keep this game 21-17, Villanova at the half. Villanova will be returning from right to left. Fordham getting ready to kick off left to right on your radio dial or on your computer screen. Javon White, the 5'11 sophomore out of Telford, Pennsylvania, prepares to go to the left hash, far side hash for us. On the near side hash is going to be Abdor Rockman. Mike Mirando sets the ball. X marks the spot at the 35-yard line of Fordham in the second half about to get underway. Villanova ahead 21-17. Mirando steps into the ball, and we are back underway for half number two. This is going to be White returning it out across the 15-yard line, up the near sideline to the 20. Cuts back into the middle of the field, flag down, and brought down at the 28-yard line is white by a host of Rams, Jordan Chapman leading the charge along with LaVon Williams. We do got a flag on the play here, and that was actually uh, Abdul Rahman on the return there. 
Uh, he actually came over and intercepted the ball, so to speak, <laughs> from, uh, from White. And when you have a return like you had earlier in the ball game, why not? A hold goes against Villanova, says our referee. The flag was thrown at the 20-yard line. So that's going to – it looks like they're going to put it on the 10-yard line. Mm -hmm. Of course, if the ball's at the 20 and it's half the distance to the goal, I suppose you don't need to pace out the <laughs> 10 steps, but <laughs> – but Just uh, nonetheless, uh, making he's making sure, sure he's got it. <laughs> First down and 10 for Villanova from their own 10-yard line after the penalty. Manungai in the backfield next to the sophomore Robertson, the quarterback, 7 of 10 in the first half throwing the football. He gives. This is right up the middle. Manungai stops. He gets out of the, of the huddle, out to the 20, to the 30. Ian Williams tries to get him at the 40, cutting back in his Manungai to the 40 of Fordham and brought down at the 36-yard line by LeVon Williams from behind in field position, flips back over. What an amazing play there by Manungai. It looked like he was trapped dead to rights at the line of scrimmage, makes a move, cuts back, and there's just simply nobody there. Uh, the only one close to him was Ian Williams, but he was being blocked by a wide receiver, and Manungai just takes advantage and rips down the sideline. So Manungai takes nothing and makes it about 57 yards to the 33 of Fordham. First and 10 for Villanova out of the shotgun. Here's a give up the middle again. Spinning around his medley down to the 30, and he's brought down for a three-yard gain, second down and seven. Villanova running the no huddle. Checking back into the ball game is their tight end. We'll go to Matt Morrow in just a moment. He's got an update on Brian Wetzel, who we haven't seen in a little while. Morgan Craig into the game, the backup tight end, known as a run blocker. Petway is a wing left. Two receivers split wide to the right on second and seven at the Fordham 30 for the Villanova offense. Robertson fakes, runs to the right side, under pressure, throws, completes to the 25, and brought down at the 24-yard line on the play. Zabdor Rockman, we go down to Matt Moore on the sideline. Brian Wetzel is out with an injury, and it looks like he may not return in this one. If we get any more information, we'll let you know. Thanks, Matt. He's got his helmet off down around the 20-yard line. I don't think he has his pads on. Disappointing loss here for Brian Wetzel. We'll keep you in the loop. Third down and one, again a six. It's right under center. Robertson runs up and sneaks it over the left side and gets enough for the first down on third and one at the 24 of Fordham down to about the 22-yard line, gain of two. First down for Villanova. And that play is reminiscent of a touchdown play they had earlier in the game where Robertson comes up to the line real quick and does a uh, QB sneak right up the middle. First down and 10 at the 22-yard line of Fordham for Villanova. Four receivers set, three to the left, wide side, one to the right. Ball just off the right hash mark. Taking, gives, up the middle medley, breaks it out to the 15 and brought down around the 14-yard line. DeAndre Slate among the Rams in on the tackle. And this is the part of the game where you have to worry that that offensive line being physical is going to take its toll. Quick snap. Medley takes it on the right side again. This time over the guard. He's brought down after a one-yard gain as he runs into DeAndre Slate again. Gain of about a yard and a half, and that'll make it about third down and about maybe two and a half at the 14-yard line of Fordham for Villanova. And this is the situation, the game situation that Villanova has been pretty dangerous at. Uh, throughout the course of the game, they could do that draw play that they've been running, or uh, Robertson even runs out wide and uh, takes it himself. Villanova by four, 12-15 to go, third quarter. Robertson in the shotgun on third down and one from the 13-yard line. He looks over. Now he gets under center. Everybody's looking over. And he'll step back into the shotgun, and the play clock runs out. Timeout called by Andy Talley on the sideline, the head coach for Villanova. 12.02 to go in the third quarter. Fordham trailing Villanova 21-17. Wide receiver split to the right for Villanova. Robertson in the shotgun takes and runs to the right. Roll out, under pressure, it's knocked down at the line of scrimmage. It was Stephen Hodge coming up and knocking down and batting down the pass. Incomplete fourth and one. And that time, as I mentioned it before the play, Robertson has been known to run out wide and either pass the ball or take it himself. Hodge not biting on the, the fake for the run, uh, seeing the pass all the way and bats that one down. So nice play there. Mark Hamilton will come on on fourth down and one from the 13-yard line of Fordham to kick a field goal. It'll be a 31-yard try. Cody Pittman will hold. Morgan Craig will snap. Hamilton, no field goals tried this year. He's 25 of 33 in his career. From 31, snap back, ball is down, the kick is up, it's high enough, 
and it is good just inside the left upright. 24-17 Villanova after the field goal. Fordham down, a touchdown, and a point after with 11.52 to go in the third quarter. Chris Goff raises his hand, takes a couple steps, jogs in, and kicks off. High end over end. It's long to about the goal line. Solano brings it up from the one, around the 10. Into the far side, cuts up the middle of the field to the 30. He's out in the open to the 40, cuts to the left sideline to the 40, to the 30, and the kicker brings him down. Goff at the 30. Huge gain for Fordham, 70 yards on the return. Beautiful job there by Solano. Originally goes to the far side of the field, draws all the Villanova players to that side, and then cuts back, finds a seam, and then cuts back again to the far side with only the punter to beat, or kicker rather, to beat. And uh, just unfortunately, the, the kicker got a good angle on him. But great start here for Fordham offensively. Jorge Solano wearing a nice pair of specs in his scoreboard picture. Makes up for what was maybe a disastrous first half for him. Huge return, 70 yards and Fordham in business here at the 30-yard line. Three receivers split wide to the right, Jones, Jones, and Ajala, Marcus and Tabucky in the slot. Kuntz on the right hip of Niebrick, first and 10 of the Villanova 30. Niebrick takes, he's gonna run. It's a keeper up on the left side, plenty of room, up the numbers, to the 20, to the 15, and he's brought down at the 10-yard line. A gain of 20 on the play, Fordham back in business, and in the red zone, first and goal. Now Fordham's picking up the tempo a little bit here. That was, it looked like Craig James on the tackle. Don Cherry as well. First down and goal for Fordham at the nine yard line of Villanova. Taking the snap, looking right. Now Niebrick runs up the left side and he's tripped up in the backfield and dives back to the line of scrimmage. Make it second down and nine, no gain on the play. And if you're Fordham, you really want to keep this tempo up right now. As you see, Villanova looks like they're a little bit on their heels. Uh, guys standing with their, their arms on their, their waist, breathing heavy a little bit, a little shocked here. Marcus Jones, slot right. Tabaki Jones just inside the numbers, wide side right. Wide left on the numbers, short side left is Sam Ajala. Niebrick in the shotgun. Left side is Dan Light, here's a give. It's a jet to the right side, spinning away and being dropped in the backfield is Carlton Kuntz. A loss of about three yards and it'll bring up third down and 12 at the Villanova 12-yard line. Yeah, that play just seemed doomed from the beginning as uh, Anton Lewis, uh, one of the great defensive linemen across the country, uh, was right in there as soon as Kuntz got the ball. So let's call it third down and goal from the 12 of Villanova. Three receivers trip left, ball between the hash marks. Everybody looks over to the sideline now for the play call. Dan Light, tight right. Off on the right side of Niebrick is Carlton Kuntz. Niebrick in the gun, looks in, takes the snap, back to throw. He's looking to the left side, throws, barely caught at the nine-yard line as he falls down, Dan Light on the crossing route, and he is dropped at the nine-yard line. 9.53 to go, third quarter, and it'll be fourth down and goal from the nine. Fordham will try and kick a field goal down by seven. Don't necessarily like that throw short of the goal line. You like to see something in the end zone there, but it uh, looks like they're going to settle here for a field goal. Antonozzi will hold for the injured Wetzel. Sullivan will snap. It's Mirando into kick. He's one for one, good from 35 yards so far today. No wind, Fordham kicking left to right towards Keating Hall. It's a 25 yard attempt. Snap back, gets it up, gets it away, and it's good. So three points for Fordham on the 25 yard field goal attempt. And Fordham now trails again by four, 24-20 with 9.21 to go in quarter number three. Trots back, it's about seven yards away from the ball at his own 28 ball, to be kicked off from his own 35, of course. He's into the ball, it's a medium height, end over end kick to the five, and bringing it up here is Abdur Rockman. He gets a little bit of room out to the 25, up the sideline, and he goes out of bounds. It was White, rather, on the return. And a nice return at that. Out to about the 28 yard line and that's where Villanova starts drive number two of the second half. Yeah, decent field position here for Villanova as we get started here for the second drive. Should be interesting to see how Fordham attacks this one. Uh, got driven back a little bit, but uh, bent, but didn't break on the first drive. So looking for a little bit more aggression, maybe some more pressure 
uh, from Dave Blackwell's defense here. We'll see what Jerry Rice Award winner John Robertson can do at quarterback. One receiver wide right, one wide left. It's a small formation, man in motion right to left. It's a give up the middle to Mungai. Up the middle at the 30, and he's driven back after a gain of a yard from the 29-yard line, second and nine coming up in uh, Villanova territory for the Wildcat offense. And once again, we see that interior of Fordham's defensive line standing tall. Uh, they haven't had much success in the middle tonight, and a uh, big reason for that is DeAndre Slade. He's been playing very well tonight. Villanova checking in Ransford Quarry, the running back. He'll line up as a wing right. Manungai stands in the pistol behind Robertson on second and nine from the Villanova 30. Burke in motion right to left. Back to throws Robertson. He looks deep down the left side. He's looking over the top. Incomplete for Price at the 25-yard line of Fordham. Ian Williams in the coverage. Ian Williams is actually beat on the play. Uh, fortunately for Fordham, Robertson overthrows that one just out of the reach of the wide receiver. Uh, Fordham catches a lucky break there. 8.26 to go, third quarter, third and medium, a third and nine from the 30-yard line of Villanova. Villanova ahead by four and with the football, three receivers to the right, trips all around the right hash mark on the far side of the field. Villanova offense on the left hash. Clay Horn on the near side number, short side left. Medley on the left hip, back to throw, looking as Robertson. He steps forward, throws right over everybody and incomplete, nearly intercepted on its way to Gallius. And that's going to force a three and out, fourth and nine coming up at the 30-yard line of Villanova. Fordham's defense steps up, Nick. Yeah, great job on that last play, playing kind of a disguised zone, uh, man on man, on, man uh, on the two outside edges. But inside the, the middle of the play, linebackers lined up with wide receivers in the zone and uh, able to stop that one out. Mark Hamilton comes on to punt. Five punts, two inside the 20 against Boston College. He stands back near hash at his own 15. Solano back to return for Fordham. Chapman nearly able to get this away. It's a high kick and fair catch. Called for, it's dropped and picked up at the 17-yard line, falling on it, Solano. And that's where Fordham opens shop with 8-11 to go in the third quarter. To Bucky Jones, short side of the field for Fordham. First and 10 at their own 17, 8-11 to go, third quarter. Fordham down four, back to throw, looking deep over the middle, looking for Tabucky Jones, incomplete at midfield. Just, just overthrown. Just a tear, just a hair overthrown, just out of the reach of Tabucky Jones. But uh, you know, as Matt said, with the injury to uh, Brian Wetzel, Tabucky Jones is going to have to play a bigger role in this game here, and uh, we see right away that uh, Michael Niebrick is not afraid to give the young man the ball. And why not? The UConn transfer has been very good. Son of Tabucky Jones of the Patriots fame. He won a Super Bowl with New England. One receiver wide to the left, a pair wide to the right on second and 10 at the Fordham 17 for the Rams offense in Maroon. Back to throw, looking with time. Throws right side, Dan Light dropped as he catches it at the 21, but he completes it, makes the catch good for four, maybe five yards, third and five coming up. Dan Light has been pretty much the safety valve all night, and there again you see... Uh, Michael Niebrick looking for somewhere to go, just dumps it off to light, and it's an easy five-yard gain. Call it third and four. Ball at the 23 of Fordham back over the football. 7.38 to go third quarter. Villanova by four. Taking the snap. Back to throw. Under pressure. Completes over the middle. Ajala near the sticks, and he's out to the 28-yard line. Dropped enough for a Fordham first down. Five-yard gain on the crossing route. Niebrick, great composure there. Just gets the ball off, and uh, Sam Ajala able to pick up the first down, but uh, great composure there by Michael Niebrick. So Fordham out of the shadow of their own end zone. Three receivers split wide to the left. Spread out, one tight end to the right. First and 10 from the 29. Here's a give right up the middle. Carlton Kuntz gets back to the line of scrimmage and meets a uh, big part of this uh, defensive line were Kim Cox, the all-CAA defensive end. No gain. Second down and 10 after the Coons no gain carry. Ball at the Fordham 29. Three receivers wide to the left. Both Joneses in the slot. Sam Ajala split on the numbers far side of the field. Back to throw is Niebrick. He's looking under pressure. Throws light on the crossing route. Drops his shoulder. Gets to the 35. Gain of six. As he falls down at the 35-yard line, it'll be third down and four. 
That time Villanova going with eight men in the box. Obvious uh, trying, to, trying to defend against the run, so Fordham is going to just take what they give them. And Matt Light, or Dan Light rather, has been there all night, so they're just going to keep going to it. Third and four, Koontz out, Solano on. Five receiver set, including the tight end, Niebrick. Hard count, now looks over to the sideline. Third and four from his own 35-yard line. Three receivers split to the right. Ajala alone, short side left outside the numbers. Back to throw, looking left. Under pressure now, he runs up the middle, and he's dropped at the 37-yard line. Had some room to the right, but couldn't quite get there. Corey Reeder, the cornerback, came off the coverage and made the stop. And the stop was made at the 37, a gain of two. That'll bring fourth and two coming up for Fordham in the punt team. I see, I think that was a smart play there by Michael Niebrick. He doesn't see anything down the field, takes that one. Maybe he doesn't get the first down, but smart play, hold on to the ball and play the field position game here. Joe Pavlik back for Fordham to kick. He stands on the far side hash at his own 23-yard line. Poppy Livers in between the hash marks at his own 25, waiting to return. 5.19 to go third quarter. Villanova by four. Chapman in motion. Rugby-style kick as he rolls out to his right and gets a high, spiraling punt down to the 21-yard line. Fair caught by Livers on the near side hash. Nice punt to turn field position over. About 42 yards with the fair catch at the end of it, and the ball will begin at the 20-yard line of Villanova here on this offensive possession as Villanova trying to add to their four-point lead with 5.09 to go in the third. Well, kind of an interesting second half thus far. Uh, both teams pretty play, playing pretty even right now, just a field goal between the two of them, each with a field goal, rather. So it's interesting to see what happens here on this drive. Robertson into the game at quarterback. Three receivers wide right, wide side, first and 10 for Villanova at their own 21 run receiver to the left. Play action, now looks, throws to the left side, completes. This is Abdur Rockman out to the 30 on the screen and gets down to the 31 yard line on the near sideline. Gain of about 12, they'll spot him out to the 33, good for a Villanova first down. Fordham defensive lineman totally fooled on the screen. You gotta feel that as an instinctive thing as a, as a defensive lineman. If a guy is just going to let you in there, you got to feel that that's a screen. That time they didn't, and Nova's got a first down. Manungai, the running back next to Robertson, man in motion, runs behind, and here's Manungai. He gets across the 40 as he breaks through and comes down, falling forward to the 44-yard line. Gain of 9.5, maybe 10. Depends on the spot. It is indeed good for another Villanova first down. 4.38 to go third quarter. Running clock, Villanova by four. Ball up to the Villanova 33-yard line. Price split wide right inside of him. One more receiver. Full backfield with the tight end Craig standing on the left side. On the right side is Manungai. Play action running to the right. Looking, under pressure, throws deep down the right side, in and out of the hands of a Fordham safety at the 30-yard line, incomplete. Looked like maybe Jordan Chapman in on the coverage. That time the receiver just kind of sneaks behind Jake Dixon, and uh, fortunately for Fordham, Ian Williams is, uh, or Williams is able to get a hand on it. Actually, Chapman, rather. Mm -hmm. Chapman's able to get a hand on it to knock that ball away. Tight right wing right, man in motion, Abdur Rockman. Here's a give up the middle, Manungai again. He barrels forward to the 50, and he's finally brought down at the 49 of Fordham. He just gets a little push from behind by his quarterback who follows him through the hole, even though he doesn't have the football. Third down and about three coming up after a seven and a half yard gain. Scary thing for Fordham is now it looks like this big offensive line is starting to have their way with this defense, opening some huge holes for Manungai. And uh, he's taking advantage of it. And Bill Nova's starting to move the ball here. Livers and Burke slot right. One receiver all the way out on the numbers, Joe Price on the wide side of the field right. Tight end left. Robertson in the shotgun on third and two from the Fordham 49. Back to throw, looking throws. Over the middle, overshot his intended receiver incomplete. Fourth down and two coming up at the 49 of Fordham. He was looking for the big tight end there and just couldn't get it to Ernest Petway. Yeah, it looked like a simple uh, just to, uh, curl route, rather. Uh, took five steps, got into first down yardage position, and uh, the ball was tipped, so um, Fordham looks out. It's going to be Mark Hamilton back to punt. He stands at his own 37-yard line. 
Jorge Solano on his own hash, a near side hash of his own 10 rather. High spiraling punt inside the five. Solano lets it go, takes a Villanova bounce to the goal line, and it stopped at the one yard line. Oof. They're gonna spot the ball forward as it was first touched at the three yard line. Uh, luck if you wanna call it that for Fordham. Or unluck. Rather. 97 yards to drive for Fordham, 315 to go. Third quarter, Villanova had 24-20. And uh, we talked about it at last Fordham's dri last Fordham drive, uh, how field position is going to play a cl uh, critical role in this game as we head down the stretch here. And now uh, we see that Villanova has flipped the switch here, and uh, now the, the battle is in their favor. So we'll see how Fordham responds here. So Fordham will have first down and 10 at their own four-yard line is where they'll finally spot the football. Three receivers set, a pair to the right, one to the left, Ajala inside the numbers, short side of the field. Niebrick stands in his own end zone in the shotgun. Kuntz switches sides now on the left side of Niebrick in the gun. Niebrick takes, he gives, Kuntz runs up the middle, he gets across the three and he's brought down right there. Fordham just trying to get a little breathing room right in the back of their own end zone, handed off to Kuntz, but uh, Villanova was ready for it from the start. Sitting in their base run defense. Loss three, three stack. Of, yeah, loss of a yard there, and that defense coming up big on the first play of the drive. Second down and 10 from the four. They'll call it at Fordham's four-yard line. Two receivers wide side left. One short side right is Ajala. Niebrick in the shotgun, stands just inside his end zone. Kuntz stands right next to him, takes the snap, gives. This is Kuntz. He finds a big hole at the 10 to the 15, 20, breaks a tackle, and he gets dropped at the 32-yard line. Big time gain, 30 yards for Carlton Kuntz for the first down. That time Villanova caught in a switch. Uh, both the outside linebacker and the defensive end went to the same side, creating a huge gap which Carlton Kuntz did take advantage of. Biggest game for Kuntz so far today by far. One receiver splits wide to the left. Solano now joins Ajala in the slot to Bucky and Marcus Jones wide right and Solano now switches back slot right side. First and 10 from the Fordham 31. Man in motion, back behind Robertson. Upon uh, Niebrick, back to throw, looking deep down the middle, and he overthrew his intended target. It was Sam Ajala streaking open at the 30 incomplete. That was a very dangerous throw there by Nike, Michael Niebrick. Three Villanova defenders are standing by Ajala as he let that ball go. Uh, very fortunate there wasn't another turnover for Fordham. And that's a... Uh, motion we've seen with Solano going back behind Niebrick that we've seen with Robertson and uh, Abdur Rockman all game long. Fordham may be trying a little bit of that motion. Second and 10 at the 31 yard line of Fordham for the Ram offense. One receiver wide left, three wide to the right. Here's a fake jet now running to the right side is Niebrick. He busts forward to the 35 and he's brought down at the 36 yard line. Several Wildcats in on the play. Gain of about four yards on second and 10, and that makes it third and four and a half. They'll call it third and five at the 36 yard line of Fordham. Carlton Kuntz checks out of the ball game. Niebrick now alone with five wide receivers, including the tight end, Dan Light on the right side. Ajala right, three receivers to the left on the wide side of the field. Niebrick barks his signals to the line. Third down and five from the Fordham 36. 116 to go in the third quarter. Fordham down four. Back to throw. Rushing up the middle. Looking. Throws. Dan White pulls it in and makes the catch at midfield as he pulls it in with one hand falling down. First down Fordham. What a catch. What an unbelievable catch that was. Michael Niebrick looks like he's going get to get sacked or maybe run for a loss. And then just finds Dan White sitting alone in the flat. And uh, what, a, what an amazing catch. He pulled it in at the 48-yard line of Fordham, and this crowd goes bananas. Three receivers wide to the left, first and 10 for Fordham at their own 48. Light, tight right. Kuntz back into the ball game, left side of Niebrick. Back to throw. He runs up the middle, design keeper to the 50, and he's knocked down from the side at the 47-yard line of Villanova. Gain of five. That design keeper fools pretty much everyone on the Defensive side of the ball, everyone's going right to follow Kuntz, and uh, Niebrick just takes it himself right up the middle. 30 seconds left, third quarter. Fordham down four. Niebrick back in the gun. Three receivers set, a pair to the left, one wide to the right. Play clock, game clock, one second difference. Fordham's going to need to get a playoff before this quarter comes to an end. Kuntz next to Niebrick in the gun. Second down and five at the 47 of Villanova. Back to throw Niebrick. 
He's looking. He moves forward. Steps up on the left side. Finds some room to the 45. And they close in quickly at the 44-yard line. Gain of three. Third and two. And the third quarter will come to an end, although a player is down on the field for Villanova at the 43-yard line. You could go for it here. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if Joe Moorhead did, considering... Uh, you know, we saw a couple trick plays already in this game. He's pulling out all the stops for this one. Third down and two for Fordham at the Villanova 44-yard line. Fordham down four, start of the fourth quarter. Niebrick takes, he gives, Coots up the middle, gets the first down down to the 41-yard line. Three-yard gain, first down Rams. And fortunately for Coach Joe Moorhead, Carlton no Coots makes that decision <laughs> for him. So there we go. <laughs> Carlton Coots. 89 yards away from 2,000 in his Fordham rushing career coming into the game. Not quite there yet, but probably around about 50 yards. Fordham with 142 total team rushing yards. A lot of those on the legs of Michael Niebrick. Niebrick in the shotgun. Two receivers wide to the right. To Bucky Jones, Marcus Jones in the slot. Ajala split wide left ball between the hash marks at the 41 of Villanova on first and 10. Play action. Back to throw. Niebrick looking deep up the left side for Ajala. He's got a step. And it's through his hands at the three-yard line incomplete. That looked, that looked like a hold to me. It looked like uh, the Villanova, it was one-on-one -on -one coverage with Ajala. And, uh, and Joe Moorhead cannot believe it. He's ripping at his own shirt. I, I couldn't believe it myself. I, I'm watching this play, and uh, I'm trying to think. It was Craig James was on the coverage, and he was literally grabbing his jersey as Ajala was running down the sideline. That, that to me, is a missed call. Well, now Joe Moorhead has to get a play call in. 14 seconds left on the play clock. 14-21 to go third, uh, fourth quarter, rather. Villanova ahead by four. Second down and 10 of the 41 of Villanova. Niebrick takes. He gives play action. Throw to the right side. This is Marcus Jones. Out to the 40. Make that to Bucky. Cuts inside, and he's brought down at the 37-yard line. To Bucky Jones uh, showing his athleticism there. It looked like three or four Villanova defenders had a chance at him, and he's able to avoid them. Uh, to pick up some yardage on what could have been a loss. Second down becomes third down and six. Ball to the 38-yard line of Villanova. Three receivers wide side left. Niebrick in the shotgun stands back at the Villanova 44. Goes in, gets the play call. Carlton Kuntz moves to the opposite side of Niebrick. Now on the far side of the field, short side right. Dan Light, the tight end right side. Fordham has gone to Dan Light over the middle in these situations before. Niebrick takes on third and seven. Back to throw, looking under pressure. Throws, caught near side to Bucky at the 30, and he is brought down at the 28. Tries to reach forward, but he's already got the first down. Gain of 10, and Fordham continues their charge up the field as they continue to assault the Villanova defense. 13-28 to go, fourth quarter. Villanova ahead by four, Fordham on the move. Nova playing with nine guys in the box at the start of that play, which means there's going to be one-on-one -on -one coverage outside. Uh, Niebrick sees it, fires to, to, to Bucky Jones, and uh, he, he takes advantage of the mismatch. And uh, Fordham would like to keep this going here. Play clock reset to 40 seconds by our referee. 13-23 to go, fourth quarter. Fordham down by four, knocking on the door. Three receivers wide to the right. Dan Light comes out of the game. Jorge Solano in slot right. Jones and Jones also on the right side. Sam Ajala split wide left short side. Niebrick play action back to throw. Under pressure. Spins away. Runs near side. Throws left side. Caught by Coons. Falls down at the 20. Good for a gain of nine. Acrobatic catch for a gain of nine yards. Second and one. Well, oftentimes for a quarterback, the most difficult throw is to a receiver who's wide open when you're on the run. Fordham trailing by four, second down and one at the 20-yard line of Villanova. Michael Niebrick in the shotgun. Kuhn stands next to him. Light wing left, just off the left tackle. One receiver left, two to the right. Here's the throw right side to Bucky at the 20. Juts out, now spins away again, and he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, and he does. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. He avoided two tackles in the backfield on the screen, but he is able to find the line of scrimmage. Maybe a half-yard loss at worst, third and two. Well, that play could have been way worse, but Tabucky Jones makes a couple of athletic moves and is able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Fortunately enough for Fordham, setting up this crucial third down here. Three receivers split wide side left, ball on the right hash on third and two at the 21 of Villanova. Niebrick runs right up the middle. He's got the first down and more inside the uh, 15 and brought down at the 11-yard line. Good for a Fordham first down into the red zone. That looked like a designed run all the way. Niebrick faked. 
uh, the pass to Carlton Kuntz and then just put his head down and ran straight ahead. He easily gets the first down there. 12 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Fordham trailing by four. Niebrick in the shotgun here on first down and 10 at the 11 of Villanova. Here's a give. Kuntz, stutter step, brings it up through the five, and he's going to be locked up right there, brought down by two would-be tacklers. Nice play in the backfield to avoid the TFL. Gain of six yards into the five-yard line of Villanova. Positive thing for Fordham in this situation, the uh, first down marker is actually at the two-yard line. So if they're able to get to there, uh, they'll set themselves up with first and goal around the one-yard line. Marcus Jones slot right to Bucky Jones, wide right on the numbers, ball between the hash marks, Ajala wide left inside the numbers. Niebrick gives Koontz, stutter step out to the right side, rushes around the side, tries to get to the sideline, he's knocked out of bounds at the four. Thought he could get the edge, the edge never appeared, gain of one third down and three from the Villanova four. Yeah, one thing we've seen from this Villanova defense all day, they're very disciplined about not giving the edge and uh, they'll string you out if you want to run east-west. You got to start going north-south. Carlton Kuntz checks out of the game on third down and three from the four. Jorge Solano comes into the ball game, a fourth wide receiver, slot right. 10.55 to go fourth quarter. Fordham down four, knocking on the door. Niebrick alone in the backfield in the shotgun. Takes, he's looking to run up the middle. He moves to the right side. He dives for the end zone and in for the score. Touchdown, Fordham. 26-24 Rams with the extra point on the way. We've seen this, the great running of Michael Niebrick all day. And what he does is so deceptive. He takes it a couple steps to the left side and it really draws the defense over to that side because he's such a dynamic runner. And then he cuts back right. And the Fordham Rams fans in front of us, again, going bananas. 10.44 to go, fourth quarter, Fordham by two, Mirando in for the extra point. This crowd is rowdy, snap back, balls down, kick is up, Mirando is good. 27-24, Fordham. A three-point lead with 10.44 to go in the fourth quarter against the number eight team in the country. Javon White on the near hash, Abdor Rockman on the far hash, long end over end kick. Abdor Rockman picks it up at the one, across the 10 to the 15, 20, cuts in between the hashes, balls loose at the 27, and Fordham's on it! Rams ball, 10.36 to go in the fourth quarter, and the Rams with a chance to put the pedal down. We see the importance of turnovers all across the football game, and uh, Coach Moore had mentioned it for his halftime report. Whoever makes the less, least amount of mistakes is going to be the difference in this game. And there's Villanova with a critical one. And now Fordham has a chance to add to this lead. Jordan Chapman as good as it gets. 27-24 Fordham. They've got the ball off the fumble at the Villanova 27-yard line. First down and 10. Niebrick in the shotgun. Three receiver set. Play action. He holds on to it. He falls down at the 30-yard line. He ran into his own defender, Dan Light. Rather, the tight end was blocked right into him, and it's a loss of three. Yeah, that time the Villanova defensive line showing their might, driving the Fordham offensive line back into Niebrick. It looked like a designed run. He just had nowhere to go running into his own player. Michael Niebrick now with the most rushing yards of any Fordham quarterback in a single game in Fordham history. That's a long history. Yeah, that's pretty good. 116 yards before that last carry. Let's call it 113 now. Second down and 13 at the 30 of Villanova. Niebrick takes, runs to the right side, throws it back to Dan Light near side. He's going to throw, and now he's going to run. He loses it, pick it back up at the 34, and he'll be dropped right there. Former high school quarterback, trick play. Fordham couldn't get it away. Second time the trick play hasn't worked. Third down and 18 coming up at the Villanova 35. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike, even though the trick play didn't work, I still like the call. It's gutsy. It shows that you want to win this game. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just unfortunate that it didn't work that time. But uh, I like the call. It's unorthodox. It gets the job done. We'll see what happens now. Dan Light will move wing right side. Two receivers split wide side right. Jones and Jones. Ajala on the near side numbers. Third down and 18 from the 35. Here's a counter up the middle, and Koontz is dropped for a two-yard loss at the 37. And it looks like punting territory. Yeah, I would say so. At this point in the game, you don't want to give momentum back to Villanova uh, with, a, with a fourth down uh, turnover on downs here. 
And so uh, it's a rather, rather disappointing drive there for Fordham, actually. Uh, you know, a chance to go up by two scores. It kind of stalled and just went in reverse. I don't, I'm not sure if they even gained a yard on that drive. But, uh, you know, you play the field position battle, and, and here we go. Poppy Livers back at his own seven on the near side hash. Back at his own 48 for Fordham is Pavlik. Man in motion left to right is one of the gunners. Here's a kick. It's going to be a knuckleball up the far sideline inside the 10, and it's downed at the 8-yard line by Joe Pavlik. The freshman punter gets the job done. The punt about 29 yards, but in this situation, a good one. First down and 10 for Villanova at their own 9. Yep. Field position so critical in a game like this, a close game. Any mistake in this situation for Villanova could be huge. So uh, Fordham, look for Fordham to bring a little pressure here. See if they can uh, get a sack or maybe force a turnover. This is a three receiver set to start for the Villanova offense. 8.21 to go fourth quarter. Abdul Rahman takes it up the far side. He pushes his blockers forward, cuts back towards the middle, up the numbers at the 10 and brought down at the 13 yard line, a gain of four. At this stage in the game, it's critical for Fordham you know, they want to pursue to the ball, but they have to be wary not to over-pursue, especially with a guy like Raman with the ball. Uh, he has a tendency to cut back, and there'll be no one there. So Fordham just has to stay disciplined here. Abdul Rockman now moves into the right side slot, set up in a sprinter position, second and nine from the Villanova 13 for the Wildcat offense. Robertson, quarterback keeper up the middle, finds some room, breaks free up the far sideline to the 25 and up to the 30 where he's brought out of bounds, written by Ian Williams. Gain of 16, they first fake, down. Fake the screen that time to Rockman, and uh, it was just a designed, designed run all the way. A huge hole was opened up there by that huge uh, Villanova offensive line, and Robertson just explodes right through it, picks up a big gain. Checking in is Kevin Gallius. He splits wide to the right, two receivers in the slot right. Five receivers set for Robertson, first and 10 at his own 29. 7.25 to go, fourth quarter, Fordham by three. Back to throw Robertson. He looks. He's got plenty of time. Under pressure now. Races up the far sideline and heaves it out of bounds. Incomplete. Yeah, that was just a uh, let me get rid of this, come back for second down type of play. <laughs> he wanted no part of a sack or any, any kind of turnover. So just get rid of that and live another day. Alex Washington provides the pressure. He's been a really nice addition to this defense tonight. 7-16 to go, fourth quarter. Fordham by three against the ninth-ranked team in the country, the Villanova Wildcats. A close game last year that Fordham fell in Philadelphia. They're trying to maybe a little bit of home cooking here tonight. Second down and 10 at the 29 for Villanova on their side of the field. Two receivers wide left, one to the right. Play action, back to throw. Slings it over the middle and completes it, but it's dropped over the middle of the field and picked up by DeFusco. It's a fumble and it's Rams ball. It was dropped by Poppy Livers. Well, Poppy Livers was drilled on that play. Just totally knocks the ball out. Another fumble. Can you believe this? 7.09 to go in the fourth quarter. Rams ball. Ball at the 44 of Villanova and the Rams another chance to put the nail in the coffin of the Wildcats. And man, DeFusco has been the man of the of the game so far. Just right place, right time. That's the second turnover that he's caused in this game. DeFusco came away with the recovery. Ajala split wide right Fordham. Ahead by three, 7.09 to go in regulation. Dan Light, tight left. Jones and Jones, slot right. Marcus inside of Tabucky. Carlton Kuntz stands next to Niebrick in the gun. First and 10 from the Villanova, 44 for the Rams. Stands on the block F, flags down. Villanova points against Fordham. And Fordham retreating back. False start. It looked like it was on Thomas Fisher, mm -hmm. the right tackle. That's something that you can't afford to do at this stage in the game here. Hate to say it, but I think there were multiple offenders there. Linemen get antsy, you know. What can, what can you say? The Fordham student section on their feet here. First and 15 at the 49 of Villanova for Fordham. Niebrick gets up to the line of scrimmage, calls his signals. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Ball between the hashes. Here's a give. Draw play. Coots rushes to the right side and dives forward at the 40 as he lost his footing to the 39. Gain of 10, second and five. Villanova's fortunate that he... He tripped, it looked like he tripped on his own player that was on the ground there. It looked like there was a seam on the far side, but uh, here we are, second down. 
Fordham against the ninth ranked team in the nation, Villanova. A CAA opponent, Niebrick in the shotgun, second and five at the 39 yard line of Villanova. Couple of big fumbles by the Wildcats, giving the Rams a chance to finish the job. Mazzara gets the snap back. Here's a give. Coots up the middle. Races to the far side, and he's brought down as he spun away from the pressure. He's brought down at the 37-and-a-half-yard line. Play was made by Cameron McCurry. Interesting to see what Fordham calls here because you want to keep the clock running. At the same time, you want to get this first down. So if you call a pass and you don't get it, the clock stops. So we'll see what happens here. Third down and three. 6.05 to go fourth quarter. Fordham by three and with the football in Villanova territory. Third and three at the 37-yard line. Three receivers split wide side left. Ajala inside of him, Jones and Jones. Back to throw. Niebrick looks. He's going to run up the middle. He's got the first down and more at the 30. And he's dragged down at the 28-yard line. First down, Rams. And Fordham decides to go back to the well that time. Michael Niebrick has been keeping it all the second half here, and uh, it's been quite successful for him. Jerry Miles dragged him down on the play, first and 10, Fordham. 5.44 to go fourth quarter. Fordham by three at home against the ninth ranked team in the nation. Two receivers wide to the right to Bucky Jones inside of him, Marcus Jones, a loud Fordham student section. Banging against the bleachers. Ajala inside the numbers, short side left. Here's a give. Koontz up the right side. Works through in the middle of the field to the 23-yard line, five-yard gain as he runs into a wall of Wildcats. Keep that clock running. That's Fordham's – that's their ideal situation right now is to eventually score a touchdown while this – milk the clock a little bit, you know. Fordham looking for a – Big win before going off to play Temple next week. To Bucky Jones inside the numbers, wide side right on second down and five. Marcus Jones inside the hash right. Niebrick takes, back to throw. He's looking, he's going to run up the middle. He just falls down at the 22, two flags down in an yeah, obvious looks, hold. Looks like it's going to be a hold there. Thomas Fisher again. On the inside, it looks like he pretty much tackled the Villanova defender. However, the positive to this, I suppose, if the clock continues to run after the holding call, there's a few more seconds off because it'll be then second and 15, you would think. But as of right now, second and five waiting for the holding call. 4.44 to go in the fourth quarter. Fordham leading 27-24 over Villanova. Here's the call. Looks like Garrick Mayweather, maybe. Yeah. There was probably a couple culprits on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but at, at, as we said, Fordham is now approaching the four-minute drill, as I like to call it. When you're playing with a lead and you, you want to run the clock out, and that's as critical as the two-minute drill at times. So the clock runs down, play clock at 20, game clock 436. Fordham by three, second and 15 at the 33-yard line of Villanova, Mike Niebrick, the Lake Braddock High School star, takes his time. Two receivers wide right, wing right is light, takes the snap, back to throw. He's looking under pressure, and he's brought down in the backfield. Big time sack by Shane Harris, unblocked through the middle, and it's now third down and very long. Yeah, it looked like it was a miscommunication there. Carlton Coots went out to the flat as if he was going out for a screen pass where he might, he might have needed to stay in uh, to block Shane Harris, but uh, it leads to a sack there. And now Fordham is in an interesting situation. Do we run the ball here on third down to keep the clock running or pass and risk the, the risk of stopping it? There's no such thing in the playbook for third and 25 from the Villanova 43. Niebrick in the gun. Play clock to two. Takes the snap with one left. Drops back to throw under pressure. Moves forward, runs up the left side. Now he waits. Looks sacked at the 43. Sacked right at the line of scrimmage. He had maybe 10 yards, but he thought if he got to the line of scrimmage, the safety would come forward. He didn't. Coverage sack there for Villanova. Fordham by three to set up this most recent Fordham drive. Fordham by three, 328 to go fourth quarter. Low snap, able to get it away. It's a high spiraling punt. Poppy Livers catches it at the 10. Here he goes, and he's brought down at the 12. Jordan Chapman on the coverage. Dangerous play there by Livers. If anything happens, Fordham's in prime position there to uh, – to go ahead for more. So Critical we, drive here for the defense. Absolutely, and, and that's exactly what I was going to ask you. How many times can you expect this defense to stand again and again? And, it, and they've forced two turnovers here in the second half, which 
which gave Fordham a golden opportunity to pretty much put the nail in the coffin and their offense not able to do that, which is kind of ironic because we thought they would be sound offensively. Fordham ahead by three, 3.20 to go in the fourth quarter. Villanova just one timeout left, Fordham with three. In the pistol is Robertson with two receivers set up like sprinters on the left side. Taking, back to throw, play action, throws near side, completes to Price, he steps out of bounds. Ian Williams in on the stop. 3.15 to go in the fourth quarter, clock stops Fordham. Ahead by three, but good for a first down, and Villanova beginning to move. At this point, Fordham is staying off, playing a little off the receivers, allowing them to catch the ball and hopefully tackling them in bounds to run some of this clock off. 12-yard gain out to about the 24-and-a-half-yard line. Three receivers split wide to the right, including Abdur Rockman all the way to the right outside the numbers. Five receivers set for Robertson in the gun. Fordham with a four down front, 2.54 to go, fourth quarter. Back to throw, Robertson looks, throws over the middle, completes, and holding on to the football this time is Livers at the 30-yard line. He's drilled from behind, but holds on for a six-yard game. See, Fordham will give him that play right in the middle of the field to just keep this clock from moving along. And uh, we'll, we'll keep track here to see how much time is going off between plays. 2.30 to go, fourth quarter. Plenty of time for this Villanova offense to get downfield. Four receiver set. Watch for a run play, perhaps. Four down front for Fordham. Second and four from the 30-yard line. Man in motion. Abdur Rockman takes it right up the middle. He runs, breaks it free, loses the ball, and Fordham is on it. Fordham ball. Another fumble at the 25-yard line with 2.11 to go in the fourth. Unbelievable, Mike. I can't believe it. Fordham has caused three turnovers here in the second half. Austin Hancock in on the tackle. Unbelievable. And to think, we thought the defensive side of the field would be the question mark coming Woo, into today. Not tonight. 27-24 Fordham, and they get the ball again deep in Villanova territory. Victor DeFusco in to strip the football. Again. There he is again. The junior linebacker, 6'2", 202. Stephen Hodge in on that rather as well. First down and 10 for Fordham at the 29 of Villanova. Niebrick in the gun. Three receivers to the left. Here's a give. Coots, he streaks up the left side to the left side. Hash brought down at the 23. Gain of six, second and four. Clock ticks down to 203. Timeout. Last timeout for Villanova. Joe Moorhead about to add the jewel to the crown to the start of this second campaign on Rose Hill. Two receivers wide to the right. Carlton Coots right next to Niebrick in the shotgun. Niebrick takes, gives up the middle. Coots, he rushes to the far sideline. Brought down, first down, Fordham. 17 and a half yard line, six yards and a Rams first down under two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. The Wildcats without timeouts. Fordham's offensive line just having their way with Villanova's defense right now. Villanova stacking the box. I think that last play they had seven players in the box, but it didn't matter at all. Carlton Coots goes left, pulls back right, and he's able to get the first down. Fordham working their way into victory formation. Jared Creighton into the game. 1.38 left on the clock. Play clock down to nine. Niebrick comes under center. Fordham by three. From the 18-yard line, Niebrick takes, drops back three yards and takes a knee. 125 to go in the fourth quarter. Fordham's return to prominence comes tonight. A win over number eight Villanova, the writing on the wall, but just a couple more knees. 1.10 to go on the clock. Play clock down to 25. Niebrick waiting it out. An excellent performance from the Fordham quarterback. He rushed for 102 yards. Clock down to 54. Niebrick gets under center. Play clock to three, 48 seconds left. He's gonna stand there, he's gotta wait. Now he takes a knee. There's gonna be a five second difference left between clock on the play clock and the clock on the scoreboard. Third down and 14. Fordham can take a knee now and the game would be over. The crowd is loud, the team going crazy on the sideline. The Rams in victory formation. Niebrick under center, takes a knee, and this one is over. Clock to 15, Fordham 27, Villanova 24. A win over the eighth ranked team in FCS. 
Joe Moorhead and the Rams complete the upset as the clock has run out. Fordham 27, Villanova 24. Well, obviously this is maybe the crowning achievement as his second year at Fordham as a head coach. And all those years he played quarterback tonight must be extremely special for the Fordham second year head coach. With that, we send it back to Rose Hill. For those of you watching on the Patriot League Network, we thank you and hope you have a good night.